Good afternoon, everybody. All right, now today we've got a BMW DME. This has come from another workshop. Um, we're not sure of the backstory, but it is a DME 841 out of an F chassis BMW. Part numbers are there. Now, I'll grab the fault report quickly and I'll show you what we've got set in this vehicle. Um, it's had some sort of repairs. We don't know if these issues were pre existing or not, but we've got rail pressure sensor short circuit to battery positive, DME supply short circuit, 5 volt too low. Um, accelerator pedal module, sensor short circuit to ground, coolant temp sensor short to ground, and heat management module, comms, no signal. So what we're looking at here um, is a missing five volt feed. Uh, we do have a code, I think, or we had something about, yeah, five volt feed there. So DME sensor to supply voltage, five volt too low. Um, what we're looking at here, right? We've gone over this whole board. I've spent about 45 minutes chasing this back. So. With this ECU powered up, we've got 12 volts across the board. We've got a 3.3 volt feed around our drivers here, which is fine. Um, but we have a short over here. So I'm gonna mark these three components because this is what we're looking at. Now on the camera there where those three components are, we've got two capacitors and a diode here. Now a diode should only have continuity one way. All right, so I'm gonna roll the camera. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. So what we're looking at, that diode there and these two caps, move this in a position hopefully that doesn't get in my way and that everyone can see so we've got multimeter on continuity mode um, as you can see if my leads touch it will beep now going around main caps we've got continuity on this one we've got continuity the other way as well so we do have a dead short on that cap same as that one and this diode now because we're thinking that this may have been backfed, um, I have checked everything else. I've checked this one, this one, all these caps up this other side here. So I'll just show you this main one and these little ones. Uh, where are we? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Either way, nothing, nothing. And these ones, nothing and nothing. So you've got no shorts there. These three are what I'm worried about. Um, Easiest way, in my opinion, to approach this is one by one, I'm gonna move everything to the side. So I'm gonna move this cap that way, move the cap that way, and just see if the short circuit goes away. Uh, let's get the heat gun cracking. We'll get some flux on this. This is gonna be awkward with the camera, but anyway, let's just get it done. Now, because we've got no visual damage on this circuit board, um, I haven't really got a whole lot to go off. I've traced those circuits back and they all sort of come back to this area, which is good. Um, if I disconnect these three components and the short stays, then we are most likely looking at a driver issue because they do all run to that driver. So I just want to get the hot air gun turned down. It's all the way up. Oh, so. Let's get this thing off. flux on there but anyway she'll come there we go get that one off first up so we've wiggled that to the side now we're going to let this board cool down because the heat will give us a an open resistance so it'll indicate that it's shorted all right so board's cooled down now i can touch that no problem um, meter same thing continu continuity mode and we're checking for a short so we'll start with the cap we moved still shorted this cap still shorted and this diode still shorted so next thing i'm going to do is going to move that other cap over um, and we can stick that one back once i move that if we still have a short then we'll do the diode all right so we've got the next cap off recheck for a short and Still there, still there on the diode. 
still there. Still there. All right, so outcome on this Beamer, um, or on this DME, I should say. Short circuit, I have to get rid of the case. Short circuit in that area, um, specifically all those components removed, short circuit stays there, it doesn't go through the other side of the board, actually runs down to the legs of this chip here. So we're going to call it that this chip is most likely a short. Um, these aren't available to buy, so this DME is technically a write-off and they can't be cloned. So this is going to need a replacement DME, um, second-hand or new, programmed with ISTA. Unfortunately, if it had nuked any of those caps or anything else on that board and we can replace them, that would have been great. But it runs to all the main legs on this chip um, and that's where our problem is. So we're going to clean it up, get it all put back together and that's this one done.